Let me ask you um, some more of the everyday issues. What do you tell your own children? You have daughters and you have sons. What do you tell them about gender equality, justice? I'm very, very open with my children. And, and um, you know, some of my children have come from countries that were in conflict with each other. A son who's Cambodian, a son who's Vietnamese. <laughs> so we have, we have lots of discussions at the, in the house. Um, I mean, my daughter's African, and we talk about civil rights and we and they look at their sister and think of that many years ago how different their relationship to their sister would be so we speak about all of these things and when I go into the field I explain to them where I'm going and why so they understand that I love them but why it's important for me to leave and why they should be happy I'm going so I hope to as we travel connect them to the world from what they see and uh, hope to balance them. Do you together. choose your roles carefully in terms of how it depicts women and women heroes in compared film, to victims? I, I have, I've always wanted to play women that uh, certainly that I had a, a feeling for, that I admired in some way, even if it was fun, that I thought had uh, certainly not a negative, wasn't sending a negative message. Um, and, uh, and I have been very fortunate that I've been allowed to play these roles that, uh, that have kind of moved some things forward. I can show my daughters when my daughters say they're interested, you know, can, what can women do? And I can I can show them examples of, uh, of things that I'm very happy to have been a part of that, that One show. Of them? Well, even my, my little girl showing her Tomb Raider when I showed my little girl, you know, she's you know, just seeing Spider Man and how cool, and had all these examples of boy things. You can show her the, that, uh, you know, I didn't have when I was growing up. There was James Bond, there was, there was uh, you know, uh, there was uh, no uh, Janet Bond. There was all these wonderful <laughs> things, but it's really, really fun that there's been a lot of, in, in film, there's been a lot of, uh, of strong women, and not strong women that are anti-men, strong women who love men and are strong women. Foreign Secretary, can I ask you a couple of news of the day questions of as we wrap up? Iraq is in a really bad state. They've practically declared a state of emergency for, for Mosul and elsewhere because ISIS has taken over there and planted its, its flag. Yeah, we're very concerned about that. It is a very dangerous situation, and indeed it illustrates the dangers in the entire region of the, the impact of the Syria conflict on neighboring states, including on Iraq. So it underlines the importance of renewed efforts over the coming months to bring about a political solution in Syria. But in Iraq, of course, it is also vital there is some political progress that helps the Iraqi government to respond effectively to this. There's just been a general election in Iraq that was well conducted, actually. Uh, and now it's important that, a, that the new government is formed as rapidly as possible with real political unity in the country on how to tackle these extremist threats. And so we will strongly encourage the Iraqi leaders to do that. You obviously mentioned Syria, a huge amount of information about blowback and backlash from ISIS, from other terrorist groups there, threatening Britain, France, and perhaps even the United States and elsewhere. It, it is not only a catastrophe for the people of Syria, but it is a national security threat to many other countries. As you have said, we have seen perhaps 400 and more British uh, people with links to, to Britain one way or another travel to Syria. Some of them have returned. Now, this is a growing and serious national security threat to Western countries. And we're responding to that by increasing our cooperation with countries in the region and with each other, uh, tracking who is going where. Uh, we won't hesitate to use our own powers to withdraw passports and to remove leave to remain in this country for those who go to Syria for these purposes, uh, who are resident in the UK. Uh, so we are working hard on this and we'll have to work still harder given the scale of this threat. Ukraine, the new president Petro Poroshenko and President Putin met briefly on the sidelines at D-Day. Has anything solid come out of that as far as you're concerned? Do you see Vladimir Putin complying with Western demands to stop the flow of fighters and weapons into eastern Ukraine? Well, there are some good signs from the meeting. I think some, a few steps forward have been taken uh, between Ukraine and Russia. Um, clearly, Russia are dealing with Mr. Poroshenko. Um, we would like to see Russia be unequivocal that this was a legitimate process, that he is the legitimate president of Ukraine. But they are de facto uh, dealing with him, uh, meeting him. I think he's had a good start in what he said at his inauguration which was firm but moderate in tone. 
Uh, and that has helped to open the way for further discussions with Russia. So we do look to Russia now to seize support for armed and illegal groups in eastern Ukraine, uh, to stop arms and other supplies coming across the border, and to work with Ukraine, since the Ukrainians are ready to decentralize power within their country, uh, to protect the Russian language, uh, to do the sorts of things that Russia has mm, expressed concern about in the past. So I think there is now a way forward in the Ukraine crisis, and it's very important that both the countries most affected take that way forward. And finally, is it time for a woman to run? Do you want Hillary Clinton to run for president? I, of course, it would be wonderful to, to see her run. I think whoever's president should be the best person for the job, regardless. So you don't think that it's time to have a female president of the United I, States? I think, it's t I think it's certainly time, but I, I, I don't think that's a reason to vote for somebody either. So I will, I, but I, of course, would love to see it at some point. And it, and it is coming at some point. It will happen, and, it's, and you can feel it, and that's going to be a wonderful thing. Angelina Jolie, Foreign Secretary William Hague, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you very much.